Hey guys, this is Jen over at worldofgencraft.com and this is our fourth and final card in this little series. So if you're just tuning in on this card, um, uh, for September my card class made all four of these cards and they just absolutely loved them. So I decided I would use this for my Create and Take for the month of September. If you are interested in learning more about it, you can check it out over at my website, worldofgencraft.com. So let's get started on the supplies and I'll show you how we put it together. I did use some uh, basic black baker's twine. Of course, the Watts of Occasions stamp set. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and I also used the Softly Falling Embossing Folder for the texture on my card. For ink, Basic Black and Crushed Curry, along with the Stampin' Write markers in the same colors, and a Wink of Stella, if you wish. So let's get to the cardstock. And what I used for it is the Crushed Curry, four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. Basic Black is four by five and a quarter, three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Whisper White is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, two and one eighth by three and five eighths. A scrap for the bulb and a piece of Pick a Pattern DSP, which is three and one eighth by four and one eighth. Let's go ahead and grab out our Whisper White and we're going to emboss this. So let me get out my little big shot here. Well, maybe not little, but it's a big shot. And um, we'll throw this embossing folder and watch the magic happen. All right, this card has quite a few layers, so I'm just going to start by layering everything on here. So our Whisper White is going to go on to our Basic Black. Or you could just put the Basic Black on to the Crushed Curry first, but I'm just going to do it this way. Now, in one of my other videos, I can't remember which card it was offhand, um, the, the embossing folder, when you emboss this, it has, I think it's supposed to, you know, just kind of falling snow, and then at the bottom it's more accumulated than it is at the top because it's just falling. So for this card, I went ahead and put where it had more snow or more of the dots at the top of it. And it's all, you know, preference. I just decided to kind of change it up with this card. And then the next thing that we are going to do is... Put our Pick a Pattern DSP on top of our basic black. And then that's going to go on top of the Whisper White. And that's just going to go centered on here. And then we're going to throw, again, our Whisper White on top of the Basic Black. Lots and lots of layers on this card. But I think I tried it with less and I didn't like it as much. So, And then this is just going to go on the left-hand side of the pattern paper. And then we're going to stamp our Basic Black. And you want this to be far enough at the top, um, which I have a hard time seeing, so I hope I can do this. So you want it enough at the top where you can put your sentiment down at the bottom, but you want to leave a little bit here um, so we can stamp our little dealy boppers on that. And this one you kind of need to just tap lightly on the ink and then I started with one at the top and then on each side and I hope I'm not oh see that's what I was afraid I, I, I was hoping I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more uh, I hope I'm not sticking my head in the way but what I was doing is 
you have to be careful with this little stamp because the ink kind of gets around it a little bit, which now you can see it kind of has a little halo on it. Um, but what I was doing when I was trying to do it is when you look at the edge of this stamp here, I was lining it up with the edge of the light bulb. And that's kind of how I got my, how that ended up getting uh, lined up. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and not color on that. We're going to stamp this out on uh, using basic black. And then we're just going to cut out this light bulb. If I can find my scissors, and I think I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And while that's drying, I'm just going to tie a little bow with our twine. And I didn't do anything fancy with it, just a little tiny bow. And I made it kind of small-ish. So, about like that maybe. And then just trim this off. And let's see if this is dry now that my bow is made. It might be. It's not quite. I have kind of a juicy uh, stamp pad because I re-inked them. So I will see if I can cut around this without getting my fingers in it and smudging it. Yeah, so far so good. Of course then it falls and we'll see. Um, and then I'm going to throw on a couple of dimensional elements or dimensional Stampin' Dimensionals, that's what they're called. Image piece. And you totally don't have to do this step. Like for all four of these cards, if you don't want to take the time to cut out the bulb, you know, stamp it out twice and cut it out, you don't have to. You can just simply stamp it on there and, you know, call it good. I kind of like the dimension that it gives, you know, just that little extra pop that it gives the, um, the uh, image. So, and then all I did is I brought my crushed curry marker and just did that. I mean, really nothing too super fancy about that. Now, the one thing that I did do is I forgot to grab out my sentiment, which is the you light up my life. And that's just going to go in the crushed curry at the bottom of your image, making sure that it is right side up. And that's going to go there. And then the last thing that I did, this is, let's see if I can straighten that out there, is I did take my Wink of Stella and I put just the Wink of Stella on each of these little... I don't even know what these things are called, like whatever they are, <laughs> but I put some Wink of Stella on that and then I ran it along here as well on this piece. And the other thing I did, I guess I'll bring my card back in here so you can see the finished one, is if you can see, I went ahead and put Wink of Stella on there as well, but for uh, time's sake and the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that off. But we do need to put our little bow on. So, I don't, I have, okay. I don't have little teeny tiny glue dots. I've just got these kind of big honking ones. So I'm gonna see if I can't just cut off a little bit. Maybe ball it up and stick it on. I think that'll work. Kind of, maybe. But for video's sake, it's working, right? <laughs> All right. So there it is. It's done. Oh, and yeah, this one kind of was a casualty of card class. I ended up getting a little bit of ink on it because it rested on one of the open ink pads, but it's not too terrible, and I didn't really want to redo it for the video. So um, this is it. This is the card. Again, if you're interested in finding out more details about the Create and Take, um, 
head over to worldofgencraft.com. There will also be written instructions, dimensions, and a supply list on what it takes to create all four of these cards. So I'll bring these back in the screen one more time and show you. I think these would make a really cute uh, gift set. So what do you think? I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.